Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. Today I wanted to go through a version 21 engraving example and the process of how it works. Uh, I have some geometry on the screen and I have my cam open. Uh, in the version 21, if you're going to set your depths, you got to click on this UND icon. And this is where you set your rapid plane, your material top, how deep you're cutting. These are all absolute numbers. And then you type in your feed rates over here. Uh, once you have your U and D uh, established, you can go to your macro or tool menu to insert different blocks of code, or you can actually MDI your starting blocks or tool calls. In this example, I just want to generate the main block of code. Uh, the way that I'll do that is I'm going to window in all my geometry here. You'll see all these uh, arrows on the screen, and these arrows are going to indicate the direction of cut. So if you want to change the direction of cut, you can do so just by uh, shift clicking it so that it is selected in the direction that you want it to cut in, which I've done uh, for this section here. Zoom in and out, I'm just holding down control and using the mouse wheel, and I can zoom the cursor. Again, uh, shift left click to unselect, shift left click to reselect. So I'm just setting my cut order so I'm climbing conventional on my inside and outside shapes. Okay, everything looks good there. I've set my U and D. And then you have a couple of different cutting options. Cut single, uh, cut auto, and cut all. In this example, I'm going to use cut all. What that will do is take all the geometry that I have on the screen, and then it's going to convert it to G-code over here on the right. Again, this is just your main block of code. Now, if you scroll through the code line by line, it will show you exactly where the tool is going uh, as it cuts around. And you can see that it's jumping around a little bit here. Looks like there may be some, uh, some double entities. So a couple of things that we're going to do to clean this up is we're going to undo our generate. Okay, We're going to select everything here, and we'll do change reorganize, uh, erase doubles, we'll select it all, change, reorganize, clean up and optimize, okay? And then now what we're going to do is we're going to select the geometry in the order we want it to cut in. So we'll hold down shift, left click on this, get it uh, going in the direction that we want. So we're going to do that one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You know, again, just picking the order that we want it to cut in and the direction that we want it to cut in. Once we've selected in the order and direction we want to cut in, we're going to do our cut. Actually, I'm going to do a cut auto here. And then now what you'll see is the path that the tool is going to follow is going to be based on my selection. So as I scroll through the code, you can see that it's following the selection order that I chose. Now this isn't a complete program, it's a partial program. We do have to insert our header and footer and our tool calls. Uh, you will notice that we have our rapid position, move the position, feed down, and then it's gonna cut around this shape, go back up, move over, come down. Uh, that's all I got for you guys here today on the version 21. If there's any questions or comments or uh, feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.